you know, mobile is, is a paradox in that I get all of the hype and I can see that everybody's got one and if you're anything like me I've actually got two um, and lots of people I speak to have actually got two phones um, but from a B2B marketing standpoint I actually struggle with the platform and I struggle with actually getting out to um, just getting out to the audience so you know, I, IBM at the moment is, um, is running a global strategy um, for its advertising uh, it's around Smarter Planet. Some of you may or may not have uh, come across the Smarter Planet um, advertising campaign. Um, it's, a, it's a big and a bold campaign, we believe, from, from IBM's standpoint. And it's actually about communicating, in our words, how we believe uh, the, the world is changing and, um, and how IBM um, can play a part in that change and help our customers achieve their business goals. Um, when I look at my creative um, approach to that and the, uh, the media choices that, that my agency make for me, um, mobile actually doesn't come up on the list that often, to be honest. And we get a lot of um, print, we get a lot of TV, we get a lot of out of home, um, and, um, and then you know, mobile may, may appear um, on the list at that point in time. So I want to share with you, um, I think, a slightly different perspective on, on where mobile fits for, um, for IBM in its, um, in its uh, marketing activities and advertising activities in, in the UK. And it starts with the, the, the really sort of basic marketing of you know, what are your objectives, who, where's the audience, and then into the campaigns. I think I see lots of great marketing and mobile campaigns, um, at, but for me, it, it's about the objectives. And if I look at the objectives that, um, that I'm measured on and, um, and all of my activity needs to report against, then two really broad categories, um, growth and reputation. Um, our organization, like many others, is interested in the future of itself and of its customers and consequently sets itself some, some growth targets. And you know, sometimes those are about um, revenue, sometimes they're about profit, sometimes they're about market share. If I look at the UK, a mature market for IBM, there's still lots of growth potential in the UK as regions of the UK where we don't penetrate today and um, you know, there, are, there are specific industry sectors where, where we would like to serve more customers than we do today. And when I look at the, the appetite in those areas for consumption of my message and the way people would like to engage with me, then the reality is that it's still more about face-to-face -face, and it's still more about a, um, a, 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 a more detailed conversation than it is about some of the things that I can do on a, on a mobile platform. That being said, I do have some examples of campaigns that we have managed to integrate in, in the mobile context. So I think there is, there is a change happening, but I, I think it's much slower and I think it's much more sobering from my standpoint than, than some of the hype that we see. When I look at reputation, my other um, major challenge, and as you know, brand manager for, um, for IBM in the UK, then I'm you know, very interested in, in our reputation. There's actually, in, in my opinion, lots of opportunity to significantly enhance the IBM brand from a reputation standpoint by engaging the mobile platform. There's lots of things that we can do on mobile that people go, oh, didn't realize IBM did that. And actually, that's not the IBM that I thought I knew. Um, what is that all about? Which leads us to um, a, a much more compelling um, conversation with our customers. So, as I've, I've picked a, a couple of couple of fairly straightforward um, but um, but integrated mobile solutions that we've run this year. This campaign actually um, has literally just finished, and it was around smart facts. Um, title of the campaign. Um, plays into our Smarter Planet activity and was, was derived as a way of actually delivering to one of our audiences, um, IT managers um, broadly, um, the messaging that we were carrying in Smarter Planet around business analytics. So there's a belief in, in, our, in our world that business analytics, understanding what's going on in your organization will allow you to, um, to improve the performance of your organization and the consequence of, of that business analytics in the IT domain means that there's lots of data and people are making business decisions on, on essentially incorrect data in many instances. So we wanted a way to connect the high level business analytics message with something that our IT audience would actually be interested in. So we started to present them through one of our media partnerships, what we refer to as smart facts. 
And the way this was actually driven out was through a website, which you could interact with through your PC, um, or you could interact with through your mobile phone. And at the start of the campaign, no great surprise to me, the vast majority of our interactions were through the PC. So people using a standard web browser and interacting with the information on, on, on that format. But as we developed the campaign, we started to push traffic drivers through both um, digital media online and through print media to actually push people towards the, um, the uh, mobile um, site and actually offer people the opportunity to deliver us their um, mobile telephone number for us to then respond with a, um, with a, a text message and a connection to, to the site. Whilst the, um, the campaign was running, we were also um, uh, continuing to reinforce on a, on a weekly basis um, messages out to, um, out to the audience, so continuing this notion of um, delivering them smart facts and actually engaging them in an online poll and actually asking them what their opinion was on the specific pieces of information that we were, we were sharing and then basically presenting those results back to them as, a, as a, uh, a, essentially some give back value um, for, for the information that we've received. Now, as I relate this back to our growth objectives, one of the things that, that happened during the campaign is we moved our audience from being predominantly looking at, at the messaging through a PC to predominantly looking at the message through their mobile phone. And to put that in context, it moved from a, a typical 70% PC, 30% mobile phone to about 60% mobile phone, 40% PC. So we saw a very large shift and the adoption of, of a mobile interface as a way of actually um, engaging with this information. We saw some 18,000 um, downloads of information during the, um, during the time of the campaign. And we now have a, um, a database of, um, of contact information which we can feed into our um, demand programs um, activity to allow our organization to follow up on those individuals with um, relevant information. So if they were responding to smart facts about, um, the, uh, about people making business decisions on inaccurate business data, then we can feed that piece of intelligence into our, um, into our telesales and into our sales teams and have them follow up the conversation with the right part of the portfolio that might be of interest to them given they've expressed that interest to us. IBM as an organization has you know, uh, uh, tens of thousands of products and services across I its, um, its entire area. And one of, one, one of our big challenges is actually finding the right way to engage with, um, with the customer or the prospect um, uh, when they're particularly interested in it. And this, this particular mobile campaign allows us to um, give our customer the choice of when they choose to engage with us and when they do engage to actually um, respond with the area of interest that they, they are um, particularly interested in following up on. The other um, area that I, I mentioned was this notion of reputation. And um, IBM has the, um, has the uh, opportunity to work with um, Wimbledon, so the All English Lawn Tennis Association, um, on an annual basis as, as their technology provider. And we basically provide all of, the, um, all of the technology that's behind the scenes at Wimbledon and help them um, deliver uh, the, the, the Wimbledon experience on an annual basis from a technology standpoint. One of the things that, um, that we found um, a couple of years ago in conversation with them is that people were getting increasingly frustrated with, um, with simple things like the size of the queue to buy strawberries and cream and um, the size of the queue to go to the lavatory. And things of that nature were actually um, were getting in the way of, of people's experience of Wimbledon. They were coming away with a, with a negative impact for, um, for the, the Wimbledon brand. So we set about looking at that problem, but at the same time had the challenge of our Smarter Planet initiative and how we actually communicated Smarter Planet in the context of Wimbledon. One of the things we are unable to do in the Wimbledon environment is actually put up our own advertising. So we can't brand Wimbledon to be IBM. Um, you know, so so we, we needed another way of actually getting our message and our content out to, um, to our customers and the Wimbledon customers during, um, during the, um, the championship period. So 
I've got a, a small video, um, so if we can run that. This will explain what, what we actually did. Wimbledon, the greatest tennis tournament in the world. The problem, only a lucky few get to watch the big matches live. This year, we decided to help thousands of other fans do the same. Our solution? To let them see through walls by developing an app that let them do just that. We took the award-winning SEER 2009, the first augmented reality app to use live data, and made it better. Now users could point their phones at any of the main courts and watch all the action live. The app was loaded with other features too. There was live video so the public could avoid taxi queues and find friends on Henman Hill. There were also Twitter feeds, live broadcasts from Radio Wimbledon, and live updates of just about everything else too. SEER was targeted at VIP guests and showed how IBM is using data to help make the planet and Wimbledon smarter. The public loved it too. So did the media. See, it was on the national news. Wimbledon gets underway next week, as I'm sure you know, and guess what? They're serving up an app for that too. It provides live scores, stats, data feeds, live streaming of television coverage from on and off the court, all based on the user's exact location within the All England Club. IBM is showing me a very clever mobile phone app. It can only be used within Wimbledon, but once you're in, you can see through walls. This is the IBM SEER. Users on site can do everything from finding the nearest toilets and food outlets to checking out the scores on various courts. But the pièce de résistance is using the app to see behind walls. SEER also featured in the national press. As well as on campus blogs. The upshot was that IBM SEER generated a buzz around the world and we didn't even need to put it on Facebook. So the reason for showing showing you that, you know, hopefully it's clearly I think a, a, a technically advanced application, but that's not why I wanted to show it. The, the reason I think that's interesting and important from a B2B mobile marketing standpoint is the actual engagement of that app itself was a few hundred or a few thousand people for us during Wimbledon. The value in terms of our reputation comes from the you know in, in the figure there a million pounds worth of PR. The, the media coverage and the fact that people actually come and look at IBM with a very different perspective than that that they might have looked at as previous to us actually running this app. I actually think there's a, there's a lot of value for B2B marketing in, in embracing mobile. Um, the, the challenge though is working out how to integrate it into the existing campaigns and not leaving it to, um, to, to run as a, as a special project running um, because we're trying to experiment. It's actually bringing it into the heart of what we're doing and for me at this current point in time that means it's got to support the Smarter Planet agenda that IBM has. I've got to be able to demonstrate to my managers that it's going to drive either against my growth objectives or against my reputation objectives. Else, when it comes to the review at the end of the year on whether or not our advertising worked or didn't, then people are going to focus on those things that didn't more than the things that did. There's a, there's, as I said, there's a lot of value to be taken out of, uh, sorry, out of mobile advertising, but I think at this point in time, because of the maturity of the audience, the real focus is around reputation rather than growth for me. Thank you.